Hey there, this time I just want to share with you a quick tutorial on how to make your own customized themes for your Firefox browser. This is requested by one of my viewers called No Land and Friends. It says here, mm, how do you make Firefox themes? So I use two programs, basically. First is GIMP, but you can use any other image editing software that you want. Second is any color. If you would recall, I made videos about any color and personas. So you might want to check out those videos as well. Now, if you download any color, you get personas along with it. So if you download any color, you also get personas, which is really cool. Because with personas, you can actually share or upload your themes so that others can use it. So I think that's cool. Anyway, so I'm here to show you how to create um, customized themes for your Firefox browser using GIMP. So open up GIMP and then any of the GIMP tutorials that I had featured in previous videos, you may use them if you want to, so check out those videos. I already made um, a theme, so this is Geeky Artist. So I already made a theme, well, I call it the wallpaper for Firefox and I'll just show you how to load it on any color. So if you're going to make your own wallpaper for Firefox or theme for Firefox, make sure you have this um, size. So it's 3000 by 200 pixels, okay? 3000 by 200 pixels. This is also the required size for personas. So if you're going to submit your themes for personas to share it with others, make sure that your size or or your image size is 3000 by 200 pixels, okay? Okay, so if you're done with that, save it as a JPEG or a GIF file, and we go to our Firefox, go to the options for any color, like so. Now we go to the main Firefox window, so this is the header. We're going to change the URL of our image to that of what we created. So the name of my file was Geeky Artist 2. So this is Geeky Artist 2. I'm going to load it. Okay, so I'll also load the same image to the footer to make my theme. And then we can also change the text color. I'll go with green. Okay. Let's go with this one. This one. Okay. I'm just going to copy this for my footer make it uniform like so and if ever your image is a bit small you can actually um, load whatever image you want using any color you can actually um, activate the image repeat if you want to but if you're doing your own theme um, you can ignore the image repeat option okay Okay, so if you're satisfied with your settings, just hit OK. And boom, there's our new theme. So as you can see here, this is my new theme. And this is Geeky Artist 2. And then we go to the options again to save this. So we go to presets and then we hit new. And I'm just going to name this as Geeky Artist 2. I already made one, so Geeky Artist 2. So here is our new theme, and hit OK. So if we go to our options for any color and personas, we now have our themes loaded. So this is Geeky Artist 1, my first um, theme, and this is Geeky Artist 2, second one. So there you go. So this is just a quick video for you to make your own themes. Share it online and tell me about it. So let me use it. I may feature it in my videos. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. Again, thanks to Nolan and friends for making the suggestion slash question. To all my subscribers, I appreciate the sub guys. Um, for all your requests, watch out for your videos. I'll be making them soon. Check out my YouTube partners on my channel. And as always... Stay creative, have fun, see ya.